Hello everybody, Con from Car List here. I am now at Honda Malaysia Spart Center in Bukit Jelutong, Shah Alam. Now, as you should be aware by now, the Takata Airbag Recall Exercise is the largest ever recall in the history of the automotive industry, not only in Malaysia, but affecting no less than 20 automotive brands worldwide. Now, if you are not aware of what this recall is about, please follow the link we've included in the description section for further information. If you own an airbag equipped vehicle, it does not matter, Honda or not, please take it upon yourself to understand what implications does this recall have for you. Unfortunately, for the people working behind me today, the majority of vehicles that are affected by this recall are made by Honda. The scope of this recall is so big that globally there is a shortage of replacement parts for these defective airbags. So, what has Honda done to fix the problem? The biggest challenge for Honda is contacting owners of used Hondas who may or may not be still servicing their vehicles at authorised Honda service centres. Contrary to popular opinion, Honda is working with JPJ to contact the owners but there is a limit to how updated the information is. Honda remains the only brand to put out full-page advertisements on newspapers about its recall. It is also the only brand in Malaysia to send its technicians to do door-to-door -door visits at certain neighbourhoods looking for potentially defective Honda vehicles to fix. As you can see from this Honda cap that we are both wearing, we are inside the building of the Honda Parts Warehouse. I'm here with Zo from the mobile service crew and he's going to pick up replacement airbags. Now, at this point in time, Honda Malaysia has been able to secure 100% availability of replacement parts for the driver side airbag. But the passenger side airbag, however, like the rest of the world, uh, there remains a bit of a waiting time. The next gap in their efforts is cars that are being sold at used car dealers. These so-called in-between cars are particularly problematic because there isn't any owner to them yet and Honda does not know where they are located or who to contact. This is where we at Carlis.my step in. As Malaysia's leading used car classifieds, Honda has approached Carlis to work hand-in-hand to reach out to dealers holding these vehicles in stock. By leveraging on Carlis.my's extensive database of used cars, we are bringing Honda technicians to used car dealers to replace the faulty airbags. So the next owner that buys a used Honda from Carlis.my will have complete peace of mind. Right now, I am with the Honda mobile team at CNC Car at Once Bukit Jalil, one of many uh, used car lots which these tireless associates have been visiting the past several months conducting on-the-spot checks and replacement of defective Takata airbag modules. So let's go. To date, Honda Malaysia has already replaced more than 72% of the affected driver's airbag modules. With me here is a 2008 Honda City, which the Honda mobile team has positively identified as needing replacement of both its airbag modules. The mobile team will first inspect the vehicle to check for any defects or scratches before starting work. They will also start the vehicle to check for any abnormal warning lights on the instrument cluster. Once satisfied, the technicians open up the relevant panels that are necessary to access the airbag modules. As you can see, these technicians are given very specific training and follow strict procedures to ensure that the entire replacement process proceeds smoothly and without unnecessarily damaging the affected vehicle. Upon completion of the job, a paint marker is put in place. If you are buying a used Honda vehicle, be sure to look out for this mark. So right now, I am in Honda Malaysia's sales and marketing office in Taling Jaya, where I will be speaking with Group Vice President Encik Akbar Daniel to get the latest updates on the Takata airbag replacement campaign. Alright, Akbar, so can you share with us what is the latest progress uh, that you have made with replacing the defective Takata airbag inflators thus far? 
Okay, I'm going to talk about the um, completion of the uh, you know uh, driver and passenger yeah. as well. Um, for the uh, driver itself, we have reached at about uh, close to 72 percent of the completion. Uh, well, you might think it's impressive, but uh, for us, if we don't complete the remaining 28 percent, and I think we cannot sleep at night. But that's 28 percent out of how many cars? Uh, total more than 300,000. Oh God. Wow, that's that's uh, that's a big number. So it is. It is. I we we I will repeat my urge to you viewers: if you are among that twenty eight percent, please get your airbags replaced immediately. Yeah, and then uh, but um, you know the completion. Uh, maybe some people might think that you know why it was not uh, completed another twenty percent. Maybe parts not available. No, I would like to remind again that parts are there. Mm -hmm. You know, for the driver side, it's hundred percent already. Yeah, it's hundred percent. And then um, for the uh, driver side, yeah. it's about uh, close to 70% of the uh, yeah. completion of the parts available yeah. at the moment. So, so yeah. by right, every Honda on the road mm -hmm. should have their driver side inflators replaced by now. Um, no, I mean, for the drive, uh, driver, talk about the driver side, it's 100%. Side. So, yeah, yeah, should be replaced by mm -hmm. now. All right. So, are, what are the, you know, and any, what are the logistical difficulties that you face in this? Well, the, the, the most challenge, uh, the most challenging part that we are facing is basically the second hand or third hand owners mm -hmm. because we don't have that their database. Yeah. You know, once the car has been sold, then we lost contact with them. Yeah, correct. You know, so these are the biggest challenge that we face. But we have come out with uh, multiple um, yeah. um, activities. For example, yeah. like we work out with we, we uh, hand in hand working with the uh, Petron, for example, mm -hmm. to station in a few places uh, nationwide. Yeah. yeah. We work with JPJ as well yeah. um, to get the data yeah. Um, yeah. for the uh, current owner, yeah. um, and also you know we, we urge our we, we also um, push our um, service centers, yeah. mm -hmm. our authorized service centers, to even do their own uh, activities around their PMAs, yeah. uh, prime market areas, mm -hmm. to uh, give up the, the uh, leaflets to mm -hmm. make sure that people are aware about these activities, mm -hmm. and we also um, uh, you know uh, trying to reach through our mobile team as well. Yeah, yeah. So these are the uh, numerous activities that we have done. We're not going to do like one thing and we're just going to continue like that. What we do is basically we try to do yeah. and if it's not working, we'll try to review it back and then we'll try to come up with a new formula how to do yeah. it. Like when we first started, we start with the uh, mobile hub, yeah. you know, in, yeah. in Penang and Joho and KL. So mm -hmm. three hubs are nationwide we do that. So there's always something from our side. We try to reach as many uh, uh, people as possible. Yeah, and I also find it commendable that you are you are extending this offer to the grey imported cars as well because there are quite a number of grey imported Honda MPVs around. Yeah, we, we do have that, but the thing is that the process will not be as straightforward as, as the uh, mm -hmm. um, you know the, the car that being manufactured by our side because yeah. we need to check the uh, VIN number mm -hmm. and then we need to get the parts as well. So the lead time will be slightly longer as compared to the one that we. At have least you are doing you are doing the efforts. Yeah. Right. So, uh, any final message to our viewers? Um, again, uh, as simple as you know, uh, the, like what I mentioned just now, the uh, biggest challenge is basically to reach those people who are the second-hand or even third-hand users, which you don't have the um, uh, the contact numbers. You know, so I would like to urge again the drivers out there: um, if your car affected or even not affected, if you have doubt on it, you know, you can go online and check through um, Honda.com.my. Or even call our toll-free numbers and um, um, to 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 make sure that to, to double check whether your car is affected or not. If yes, then please make an appointment and come to our dealership nationwide as soon as possible to change the airbag. The Takata airbag crisis is not only the largest ever recall in the history of the automotive industry, but also the most severe, simply because lives have actually been lost as a result of this. If you own a vehicle equipped with airbags. We cannot stress this enough. Have your vehicle checked and if necessary, replace its airbag without delay. This is Con from Carly signing out now. Thank you for watching. Bye for now. The Power of Dreams.